Hey everybody, it's Will from Trailer Trash, and we have a pretty fun project we're doing today in this 2011 International Airstream named Buttercup. We're putting in a stained countertop uh, for a desk. The idea behind this project today is in this International Airstream, in the very rear is the sitting area, and there was a bench seat that went to a banquette. We took that out, we're putting in this desk in a seating area in the back so they have a workspace and comfortable seating area uh, for them to travel with. Now they had this reclaimed countertop in their attic and it fits perfectly. It's a 30 by 72. It's going to fit the space amazingly well but we don't like the finish on it. Now it is sealed and stained already so the first part of this project is uh, stripping uh, the stain and the seal and uh, we're going to roll on a turquoise latex paint that's been diluted with water. Now what that's going to do is let us effectively stain it with the color we want. The stains are pretty specific and hard to, to get the exact color you want. So if you go get a latex paint, dilute it out, you can get the effect where the wood grain comes through. Now, I want to show you how to do that today. As I mentioned before, the first step, you got to get the old stain sealing off. Now that's just some elbow grease with a belt sander and an orbital sander. So let's get to it. So I finished sanding and it's looking really good. Uh, what I recommend doing is after you do the belt sander, take an orbital sander with about an 80 grit uh, sandpaper, go over everything to get rid of any uh, imperfections and ruts that the, the belt sander will uh, leave sometimes. Once you have that smoothed out, go ahead and throw on a 240 grit so it's really soft, go over everything and leave it with a really nice smooth finish. Um, I'm gonna bring you in closer. So we're looking at the bottom of the table here. It's really smooth uh, and stripped. We're ready for anything that we put on a stain or paint. But I wanna show you, so they had uh, used this as a multi-purpose table for a long time. And you can see a bunch of uh, screw holes where they had put legs on it in different places. Uh, even though this is on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with a uh, wood filler and sand it down to give it a perfect finish uh, on both sides. So, watch this. So with any patching or wood filler component, you want to press it into the holes and scrape over the top to leave it as level as possible. Now we're going to come back and sand it down to a nice finish once it dries. But the more you clean up as you go, the less you have to worry about. finished so I'm gonna let this set up and remember to take your time and do it right do everything with love as if it was your own so take that extra bit of effort and put it into every little project it's gonna come out real nice all right so it's time to let this dry all right so I let that dry and I went back and sanded over it you can see all the holes are patched on the bottom I went ahead and reattached the support bars across and the table is now ready for paint. So the color we want to stain it is a turquoise. And we picked up this really cool uh, turquoise paint. Uh, I guess the official name is Mystic Turquoise from Home Depot. I had to mix up a quart for me. Uh, you can see kind of the color on the side. Uh, but since we're going to do a stain, and since my background's in science, I set up a little experiment here where I diluted the paints out. 25% uh, water, 75% paint. 50-50 and 75% water, 25% paint. 
And I'm basically going to roll this on here real quick and send that to Brit. So I can do things, but I need her eye to tell me which one to actually apply. So this will be pretty quick. And, and I have a spare piece of common board here. So I can show you that real quick. So I've already pre-mixed these. And I'm going to start with the 25% and then change my rollers out in between to control for variables. Another science term there. So, put that down. So this is 75% water, 25% paint. Paint. And our end goal here is we want the uh, uh, the veining in the wood and all the details to come through. So I think that this is probably going to be the best. Uh, we'll see. So yeah, you can definitely see that the wood is coming through. That's good. But it could probably be a little darker. This is a little watery. Um, so next we have 50% water, 50% paint. So this should be a little darker than the last one, but hopefully it's still thin enough to give a staining effect. Okay, it's definitely darker than I thought. I'm still getting some of the board underneath. Not as much as I'd like to. Well, yeah, I kind of like that. I think on a larger scale, that would look really nice, actually. Okay, and last but not least, we have 75% paint, 25% water. Or I said that back. Backwards, 25% water, 75% paint. So this is a uh, pretty thick. Um, as you can see, I think this is going to pretty much opaque out our board. Might get a few veins from the board coming through, but let's see. So that's got more vibrant color. Let's see if any of the board comes through. much at all. I'm going to wipe away the excess on these. And the last one, this might help it. Just like in the other stains, you wipe away, you get more of the veining coming through. Oh yeah, and there it is. Okay. That actually doesn't look too bad either. It's got a little bit more of the color, but you can still see the veining underneath. So now I'm gonna send this off to Britt and see what she thinks. Okay, so the decision came down from the higher ups, Brittany and Sarah, and they went with 75% paint, 25% water. They like the vibrant look uh, with also still seeing a little bit of the natural wood tones coming through. So we're going to get started on that and roll it out. Now the technique is just to apply it pretty pretty liberally to the surface here. And then uh, before it sets up too much, you take a uh, paper towel and then you go over it. So we're gonna treat it just like it was a stain. And that's how you get that look that we're going for. All right, so let's get started. Right, guys just like that uh, we have completed this project uh, and the next step is installing it but I want to give you all a look at the finished product and show you how the grain and the veining of the wood comes through really nicely it's actually really pretty I like uh, the way this came out so once this goes in I'll have pictures for you I just want to show you the finished product I hope this helps you on your um, countertop refinishing.